Edward Fitzgerald's translations of the poetry of the Persian Omar Khayyam is arguably one of the most published books of poetry. It is also the most illustrated. Here we cover the illustrators of the poems from 1914 to 1929. Mira K. Set did 15 pages of line drawings that included questionable calligraphy plus weird and wonderful images that caused a furor in 1914. Four years later, an unknown illustrator drew 17 pictures with an opium-based theme the subject never covered in the poems. My book identifies this artist. With 12 red and green colored line drawings, Blanche McManus published her second illustrated Rubaiyat, one of two who did a second set of pictures. Ronald Balfour seemed more enamored with the 1920s era than the 1500s when Omar wrote his poems or the 1800s when Fitzgerald translated them. Circa 1920, Pikla and Wasab Arana did eight line drawing illustrations plus end papers focusing on the Rubaiyat as a collection of love poems. Beautiful expressionistic images of Wilfred Jones depict specific quatrains. Each one is a work of art. Around 1921, Doris Palmer did a dozen multicolored, stunning images that brought the poetry to life. Identified only as Fish, the 19 dynamic images by Anne Fish clearly reflect on her experience as an illustrator and cartoonist. Circa 1923, Hope Weston was commissioned to do eight Persian-styled images to illustrate Omar and the Rubaiyat. August Henkel's six pictures published in 1924 are dark but detailed depictions of the poems he chose to illustrate. Each of Jerome Loudermilk's six pictures include a verse illustration, a decorative border, and calligraphed text from the pictured verse. The eight full-page illustrations by Lawrence Patterson are full of detail and imagery that interprets each selected poem. There's always a clown in the room, and Ned Weathered fits the bill with his hilarious British-Persian hybrid pictures. Weird border images and text complete each page. The exact date that Margaret Caird published her four sepia images remains controversial, but her pictures are meaningful interpretations of the verses. Many mistakenly thought Cecil Gwendolyn True's images were photographs. Many questions remain about her limited edition portfolios. Around the end of the 1920s, an artist known only as Doty published six dynamic etchings that depict specific poems from a first version of the Rubaiyat. 
The Early Artists of the Rubaiyat is the fifth book in a five-book series on the first artists of Fitzgerald's Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. All of these are available through online booksellers or direct from the author.